What is going on today, guys? I'm Mr. Marvel TV, and I want to be the first to welcome you to the Marvel fam. Today, we're going to be giving you a preview of all the bundles that are coming for the Classified Arms update for Vanguard Season 3 and Warzone. You know what to do. Hit that like button and share with a friend. Make sure to hit that sub button and noti bell if you're new so you don't miss our Vanguard Warzone Classified Arms Battle Pass review. Let's get right to it. All right, so here we've got the Florence Carter Operator Bundle. This comes with the Hellacious Florence Skin, the Corrosive Attitude Assault Rifle, Copper Chopper Sniper Rifle Blueprint, the Untouchable Ace Calling Card, Harpy's Heli Charm, the Iconic Spray, the Guardian Angel Florence Highlight Intro, which you can see on Vanguard, the Golden x fill Emblem, Stick With Me Florence Quip, and the I Don't Wing It Florence Quip. Next, we've got the Big Brawl Bundle, which comes with that new melee weapon, the Junkyard Jet, the Tactical Defense Melee, which looks like a riot shield, obviously, High Maintenance Sticker, Science Power Emblem, the Wired Up Calling Card, the Left Right Left Charm, which is a lock, like you put on your locker, and two tier skips for the Battle Pass. I like the melee here, but everything else seems pretty much as plain as ever. Or Vanguard. Next, we have one of the more anticipated one, the Kong Tracer Pack for a limited time. This will come with the Kong skin, which is a Wade skin. You got the Jungle Juggernaut Sniper Rifle, the Skull Island Shaker Submachine Gun. You got Kong Scepter, which is a melee weapon, obviously. The Gravity Inversion Operator Finishing Move, which looks like this. Then you've got a Watch Your Back Highlight Intro that looks like this. Double XP Token. You got a Kong Roar Emblem a Primal Power Spray, and you've got a Gia's Doll Charm. Next is gonna be one of my favorites, which is the Godzilla Tracer Pack. This is gonna come with the Godzilla Geely, which is this Shiganori skin. The Breath of Godzilla Assault Rifle, which is for the STG. I thought it was gonna be for the KGM-40, but it is for the STG. You have the Awakened Alpha Light Machine Gun. The Big Mistake MVP Highlight, which looks like this. The Gojiro Stomp Finishing Move, which looks like this. The Godzilla Heat Ray Emblem the Titan Destruction Spray, the Fabled Beast Spray, and the Protector of Earth Calling Card. This is gonna be dope. Next, we've got another one that's a for sure cop, which is the Mecha Godzilla Tracer Pack. You got the Mecha Godzilla Operator, the Cybernetic Destroyer Assault Rifle, which looks like the AS-44, then the Neural Uplink Type 100 Submachine Gun, the Nanometal Tailblade Melee Weapon, which looks insanely cool, the Machine Learning MVP Highlight, which looks like this. The Rival Protocol Highlight Intro, which looks like this. Which honestly, it kind of sucks that this one doesn't come with a finishing move. The Network Uptime Watch, that actually looks pretty sick. The Neural Link Active Calling Card. The Evolving Together Emblem, which includes the Apex Cybernetics Emblem. And the Mecha Godzilla Head Charm, which actually looks kind of cool. Next, we've got another Blunt Force Trauma Pack, which includes the Ganja Gilly Gustavo Skin. The Pure Indica Submachine Gun Blueprint the Bullet Dispensary Assault Rifle Blueprint, the Munchies Emblem, the Higher Plan Calling Card, the Pain Reliever Spray, Blow and Smoke Operator Finishing Move, and a Take a Toke Gesture, and two Battle Pass Tier Skips. Next, we have another one that I'm pretty excited for, which is the Ultimate Pack Hellhounds Mastercraft Tracer Pack. This comes with the Gatekeeper Submachine Gun Blueprint, which looks insanely good. The Adamantine Anna Skin, doesn't look terrible. The Hesiodic Maxim Assault Rifle Skin. The Eleusinian Handgun Blueprint. Ivy Blood Assault Rifle Blueprint. This comes with a lot of blueprints. The Virescent Steel Shotgun Blueprint. The Growling Guardian Charm. The Jump to Conclusions and a Highlight Intro, which you can only see on Vanguard. Again, there's no Operator Finishing Move, which always sucks. The Animus Intent Calling Card and the Rabid Mongrel Emblem. Let me know which one of these you guys are excited for. I'm pretty excited for most of these because out of all the Vanguard stuff, these are the best looking packs we've ever gotten. And we will be doing a full Battle Pass review, so make sure you hit that noti bell. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, good luck, stay frosty, and happy hunting, baby.